All right, Tyler Horton from Business of Vancouver is back with us this morning. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, Steve. Beginning with uh, Shoes.com, a Vancouver-based company that's, uh, it makes a lot of sense, getting a sock company. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're sticking in the foot business, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, if you're going to have so, shoes, you probably should have socks. <laughs> that's what I always say, yeah. Um, but uh, they're, they're sticking with the foot business. They're getting into sock company. Uh, Richer Poor, they've just acquired this California-based company for $10 million. Now, uh, the Shoes.com people, they've been flush with cash for the past year. If you recall, it's the same team behind Coastal Contacts, which was, which was sold off last year for $430 million. Now, right now, uh, CEO Roger Hardy, he says that uh, the new company is on track for sales of $300 million uh, this year and up to $450 million last year. So this acquisition of Richer Poor is just going to add to their selection of products. They already do sell some socks online, but this is just going to make that explode for them. And uh, Roger Hardy, he's even spoken about an IPO earlier this year. The plan was to have it by the end of 2015. Right now, he's saying eh, market conditions are a little soft, but maybe we'll uh, look at it uh, in the near future, though. So mm -hmm. a lot of big growth going on for this Vancouver-based company right now. All right. And speaking of Vancouver, Vancouver-based developer has uh, got some troubles right now. Yeah, James Shaw, he, he's denying allegations that uh, he defrauded an investor of $1 million. Now, the BC Securities Commission, uh, they're accusing him of uh, taking money uh, meant for the Artemisia development. It's a very upscale thing that was developed by a different company. But he's accused of taking money and using it to pay off personal expenses, such as, say, a legal judgment that was already made against him earlier. And he's just using that money to pay that off. So uh, he spoke to a business in Vancouver. He's saying, look, you know, 2008 financial crisis, a lot of these developments came to a standstill. Money got frozen up. But right now he's working with uh, uh, other development companies to get a return back to investors. He's emphatically denying all these allegations from the BCSC. Mm -hmm. Now, the interesting thing is that uh, one of the allegations is that he was promising uh, an investor an 18% annual return which is, you know, should raise a lot of red flags for people, but he's very well known in the real estate community as a developer, and that's maybe why uh, this particular investor, if these allegations are true, was willing to put that money in uh, to uh, this development and not getting that return back. So, you know, okay. very, very uh, uh, interesting case, I'd have to say right now. All right, well, we'll keep an eye on it. Thanks very much for that, Tyler. Thank you, Steve. All right, if you want some more details, go to BIV.com.